All right, so getting ready to go get a plasma table up in um, Minnesota. Pretty excited about it. Going to take the two kiddos. Um, taking this truck in the flatbed trailer. So here's the deal. It was going to be 2,800 bucks to ship this thing just about to get it from Minnesota to here. It's a five by 10 uh, fully welded table. And um, I'm hoping to get her done for like a thousand bucks. So this is what we got going on. The truck, the flatbed trailer. Um, but I'm going to pull this whole welding um, crate out. Here, come check this out. Oh, I got it rigged up pretty wild right now because I had a couple failed attempts and I just left them there for backups. But um, this this cradle here, this rack in this cradle is holding the welder, the bottles, and the leads. So right now it's all unhooked. Um, do you got a good view? Yeah. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to jack it up and see. So I've got that extra one on the load itself. But the, the silver chain should do the lifting. Can you back it up to where you can see the truck lifting up and stuff? Because it's... So I think this is about a thousand pounds all day. But I don't want to have happen is it come loose and it hit that back of the glass. Yeah, there it is. You like that, Maddox? Oh, shit, it's about a thousand pounds hanging in the air. Nah. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this thing off. Oh, I got it. Are we going to move this? Yep. I don't know where yet, but there it is. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Look at the truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got her out. That looks good. Let's see this truck now. I haven't had that rack off. I've only owned the truck for about three months and probably two and a half of it's had the rack on. So here we go. That's the trailer. That's the truck. We're gonna get this thing set up for the trip. It's gonna be a good deal. Right, Dill? It's gonna be a good deal, right, Dill? Uh, we have an empty one ton dually. <laughs> we have an empty one ton dually. Well, we're on the road. Um, it's 7.13, been on the road for about three hours. We're, um, left birth in Colorado. We're up almost to Nebraska. We're gonna head up to Iowa, Council Bluffs to see Grandpa's grave. Then we're gonna drive up to Worthington, Minnesota, where I was born, but have never been back to, so that'll be cool. And, uh, find a hotel somewhere, and tomorrow's off to the plaza table. How you guys doing? Coming to see dad here in Iowa. Take a little bit, have a picnic, clean up his grave. Maddox is gonna leave a little truck. Marlon's gonna leave some flowers. Keep, keep scrubbing guys. Yeah. Dad, don't well, we're in Minnesota. Why? It's alright. Marlon's sitting up front with me. She's co-pilot. Mom doesn't like her to sit up front. 
But we are in Minnesota. Look how beautiful this place is. Rivers. I mean, for a while here in Minnesota, it was like, it's looking like Iowa. And we were disappointed, but now it's, the land has changed. It's cool and we're excited. We're about two hours from uh, Star Lab, which is on the north side of Minneapolis. We're just trucking along. Yeah. 15 miles to the gallon. The truck's doing great. Love this thing. Gotta love life. Gotta love it. Maddox, how you doing back there, buddy? How you doing back there, Maddox? Maddox! <laughs> Marlon's drawing a map. And a plan. Yeah. All right, we made it to Star Lab. It doesn't look like a big building, but wait till we go inside. Come on, guys. Come on. Run. What the heck are you guys doing? We're going inside. All right, go ahead. Go, go. This is where they build the plasma tables. Go, go. Very cool, very cool. Keep going. All right. All right, we're in Star Lab. <laughs> Got the table going. Yeah. First look at the five by 10 table. What do you think, kids? Yes. They didn't know what kind of table we were after. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here comes the table. Kids, kiddos. The table's coming. No, they don't care. Yeah. Well, I think I got her loaded. It's been raining all day in Minnesota, almost most of the day through Nebraska too. But we got the table buttoned up. I mean, straps, bungees, tarps. <laughs> we got the crated power unit in the back there. I'm not my not too crazy about this idea, but we'll see how she rides through the rain. Tried to cover it all up, so. We got a General Lee here. Look at this, Marlon. We got a General Lee. Here's probably everybody's favorite. We got the Smokey and the Bandit Pond. This is cool. All right, this is super cool here. We just saw the General Lee over there, and now here's a Plymouth Superbird. Um, I've never seen one in real life. So I'm pretty stoked. We're up in South Dakota and look at that thing. What are you doing over there, Maddox? Where are we? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it's kind of cool here. We are down by the Badlands in South Dakota. And oh, there is cactus. Be careful. That was a big one. Good job, Mark. The table, you know, we're just open trailering this thing across the country. As you can see, the tarps are just tattered. This gantry is no working its way back. Um, but we just want to keep it dry. And we have great weather. So we're pretty stoked about that. But... Well, we're home. After almost 2,000 miles in three days, we're we were 30 miles short of 2,000 miles in three days, all the way up to uh, north side of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and back. Um, we got the plasma here safe and sound. Um, the truck is awesome. I freaking love this truck. Uh, no problems, of course, no problems. It's just a great truck. Uh, this guy is here though, it is in the shop. That's the Hypertherm 105. And there it is, let me. So, like I stated before, to have this thing shipped from Northern Minnesota to here was just about $2,800. It weighs 2,500 pounds and it's huge, you know? Um, took up almost my whole flatbed trailer. Um, anyways, so it would have been 2,800 to ship it 
I was hoping to get it done for under a thousand dollars. Um, but that didn't happen. We spent two nights in hotels, me and the kids, and the second hotel was kind of ridiculous. But um, all in all, we spent $1,425, and I shut the shop down for two days, a Thursday and a Friday, and it's Saturday evening now. Um, so yeah, did we save some money maybe? The company paid for the uh, trip with the kids. We drove to uh, Minnesota, which was pretty much driving through farmlands for three days straight. So not too exciting, to be honest with you, but we had a good time anyways. We got the table here safe, all success. Tw um, ha almost half the price of what it would have been if we would have shipped it, but it took us two days to do it. We shut the shop down for two days and we drove up there and did it. So there it is. The next video will be that thing fired up and cutting steel, cutting parts. So stay tuned.